Hello, I'm Jennifer Castoldi from Trendies International, and we are live in the Heim Textile Trend Forum at, which one is it? Engineer Nature. Engineer Nature, and we're here with Stefan and Janis, who have this amazing material here that they are going to talk with us about. So, which one of you want to explain the project? I'm going to start. <laughs> yeah, here we have uh, molds that are filled with a nutrition liquid that contains bacteria, which is basically kombucha, or kombucha nutrient and the funny thing about it is that these bacteria create cellulose out of the sugar inside the nutrition and you can mold these by shaping the, the oxygen boundaries. boundaries and that's what we basically did and you get a material that's pure cellulose that has quite interesting material properties the fibers itself are really strong and as you see it here it contains of a lot of water like 95 percent and you can replace the water by other polymers or materials and that's what we did over here we tried to create a different variety of textures material qualities colors and yeah that's the basic result. There's a lot more behind it, but that's for now like the essential uh, process we S display here. So where would something like this be applied? What's the application for this cellulose that's material? That's the question that everyone we're asked us. For. <laughs> we're waiting for this. And we're actually uh, still playing with the material in order to find out which applications would be the best. So we, at this point, we kind of try to keep a rather formal language in order to explore the actual properties of the material mm -hmm. and don't go towards one, one distinct application because this would also limit our kind of broad playground. playground. <laughs> so yeah, you're basically, if, mm -hmm. if you imagine this material is cellulose, cellulose is the building material that uses nature for making trees, plants, cotton fiber is ba cellulose based so the potential is quite interesting <laughs> to say well, and it's quite enormous if you yeah. if you manage to program or remote control the bacteria you could actually grow a car with this and is it durable enough to be it a car be, that's another that's interesting that's question that's kind of the question which goes goes back to the material composites we are yeah presenting in this part? I mean that, that questions basic industrial production uh, quest <laughs> what basic, do you want to say? Uh, the <laughs> the um, production culture. So aside from a car right now you're at a textile trade show. What's what's the connection? Yeah, as I explained, uh, cellulose is the basic material, base material for, for example, cotton fiber as well. And what we create here is a three-dimensional fiber mesh, which is a, a textile, and that can be applied on basically any. It can be put in any shape. So people can come here to the trend forum and touch some samples and. Pick your uh, brains. We have some samples in the fridge, so if they're lucky and we're here, they, they can might just grab us and we would hand them. <laughs> <laughs> and I just touched it's it. It's, it's, yeah. it's quite slimy, but it's very interesting. Well, thank you for talking with us. Thank you.